Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hello everybody, my name is MadCat117. Welcome to another quick vlog slash analysis video. Um, I do apologize for my absence once again. I've been really busy with school um, because it is approaching the end of the year, as well as I've been producing music. <laughs> um, and one of the most important things, I'm actually producing a song for one of two of my really good friends back in the States. They're going to sing a little duet, and it's going to be really pretty. Today's topic, to get right on topic, I think you may find some interest in. The newly released Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location trailer. Now, Scott released this, I believe, just yesterday, if not the day before. So, it's still new, and it's such a huge controversy already, because people are already starting to scrutinize every single detail and trying to figure out the hidden symbolism that Scott likes to implement um, in these kinds of, kinds, kinds of videos. We'll be taking a look at that very shortly. But just to give my thoughts on it, first of all, it looks really cool. I mean, it looks like... I. It looks like it's done in a real engine, uh, which is, I believe, what uh, the Joy of Creation is actually done in. It's got more of a 3D, a lifelike mechanic. Um, for example, when a light, when the flashlight shines on a normally reflective surface, it gives that really sharp, concentrated uh, reflection, and so it just gives a really accurate dynamic of what real life looks like, per se, according to the game engine itself. The animatronics look really cool. Um, and Funtime Foxy is actually assembled now. The Mangle is actually completely assembled now. Balladora, the matured ballerina. We will get into her later. And then the smallest one, the one that's closest to the camera, is kind of creepy too. And we will also get into her a little later. So we will begin watching the trailer. I'm going to stop and go at certain points to tell you certain things. So, All right, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is based off fear. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is based off panic. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is based on dread. And Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is based on terror. Don't hold it against us. That's... That's something that I noticed DA Games point out. I knew it, I heard it myself when I watched the trailer as well. But it does make you think, like, don't hold what against you. What have you done to where I would blame you for something or hold you against something? Are you being controlled by some higher animatronic being or something? Um, we don't know. So... <laughs> And there, I'm going to have to go back on that one. It's a new room with that looks like Balloon Boy. And as DA Games also said, some sort of ringmaster. It's kind of hard to tell. He kind of looks a, bi a bit like a monkey, but I don't know. So we will have to see. And then Don't Hold It Against Us got a, a little bit more intense right there. We've got more vents. Vents is... It might be a thing if this is a finished product. Um, the camera, the way it's bouncing up and down and looking, it's like, I would say, a panicked person trying to crawl through to escape. Or maybe one of the animatronics themselves. Okay. This is a first animatronic. Um, one of the things that I noticed... Um, was, of course, that Mangle, um, or Funtime Foxy, is actually fully assembled now. We actually get to see, like, the full, um, version of the toy, um, Toy Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So this is very interesting that they, uh, well, Scott, or who, uh, well, Scott didn't make this, someone else did. Um that they decided to have um, Mangle um, completely assembled. And then 
That was the other thing. Their face moves. They can take their faces off, it seems. Okay, this is the part I wanted to point out. This is the part that I wanted to point out. This is my epiphany. This is my... The point that I wanted to make that I noticed that DA games missed. Look at Balador's teeth. They are the sharpest I've ever seen out of the out of the animatronics that are shown. Just like Nightmare Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So, it makes me wonder, is she any different in some way than the rest? Facial deconstruction is apparent with all of them. There's Freddy. And along with, like, where memories sleep and anger is restless and all that. I didn't take that much... T like, I didn't focus on that too much, but it does tell you, like, you know, it is underground. Um, and because, like, uh, where memories sleep, uh, if you go into the semantics of that, it does kind of make it to the point to where this is set in a future tense. Um, where anger is restless. Is like... <clears throat> like, the anger wants to do something. And it wants to unleash. But it perhaps may be exhausted. And can't sleep along with the memories. I don't know. I'm, I'm having trouble piecing this together. But I'm just giving you guys my thoughts. Okay, this is another thing that DA Games uh, pointed out. Um, if you look closely on Freddy's thumb, you can see that there's actually some casing damage. Like, some, like it's just been chipped off. And also, to the very left here, there's like either some form of support or a ventilation fan. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, <clears throat> but whatever it is... Um, it's definitely new. Another thing I want to point out is, just look at the graphics. Look at the graphics of it. It looks so real, like, compared to the other games, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I haven't seen much of the graphics for FNAF World. Um, but this is, like, <clears throat> uh, the joy of creation reborn graphics like that kind of real life aspect to it so it, this is like r insanely good like the texturing is phenomenal secrets don't keep um da games explained that i'm gonna be mentioning him a lot in this video um or secrets don't and secrets don't keep like well does that mean what goes on here can't be kept secret it has to be told <laughs> Okay, this is where it gets weird. Bam! Oh, I know that perfectly. Look at um, Funtime Foxy's um, endoskeleton. You can see that there are a lot more... It's got a lot more shape to it. Similar to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. There's a lot more structure to it rather than just like a normal box with eyes and... Um, mounted ears there's a lot more 3d um it's more 3d look to it there are a lot more bars and cross beams and supports just for the facial area that you can see um and then the other thing is which was fairly obvious to see is she has a speaker on her chest so that may indicate that she may have a voice and then Freddy's going to pop up here, and then he's got a, what appears to be a, a speaker on his chest. But, as DA Games pointed out, you also have a little Bonnie puppet in his right hand, which is something that hasn't been implemented before. And then we get to this one. This one is creepy. Then Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. 
Okay. Jump scare warning. I've had to prep myself up for this because it's kind of creepy, but I saw on Facebook, um, one of the Five Nights at Freddy's groups that I follow was like, I'm going to, it's like Scott said, I'm going to make a new jump scare. I'm going to combine all of them into one. So then you get, yeah, gets me every time this fall. And then finally, you don't know what we've been through. So all very interesting and very spooky. So I can't wait to look forward to it. I'm not going to go too far um, in depth for this video. But I want, mainly wanted to point out that Balador's teeth were the sharpest out of any of the shown animatronics. Because I believe that may tell us something different. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked it, shoot that like button in the face with a pulse laser. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Mad Cat out.